Experts believe a new government initiative could help make Australia the world leader in one of the most promising areas of medicine. Millions of dollars are being invested in Australian mRNA labs. The technology, made famous by the COVID vaccines, has the potential to cure diseases as well as prevent pandemics. But it's not without its critics, as science and technology correspondent Brent O'Halloran reports. These scientists in Sydney are using a relatively new tool to tackle multiple major medical problems. It's really exciting because, I mean, what's really amazing is the, is the diversity of therapeutics people are developing. mRNA is a molecule which sends instructions to the body to make particular proteins to fight off diseases. Anything from cancer vaccines, uh, immunotherapies um, against cancer and treatments against red disorders. Used in COVID vaccines, the pandemic showed mRNA's promise. It unlocks a whole potential universe of new therapeutics. Governments and some of the world's biggest pharmaceutical companies see Australia as the potential centre of that mRNA universe. Regulations here are deemed easier to navigate and we have a wealth of talent and experience in nanomedicine. Private company cash and taxpayer funds are pouring in, including $94 million from the New South Wales government for a manufacturing facility and some of the $22 billion Future Made in Australia fund. The federal government's RNA blueprint announced last month backs mRNA projects and worker training for an industry expected to generate $8 billion for Australia's GDP over the next decade. We do have a first mover advantage. And I think what I'd like to see is continued um, activity in this space. Australia's already created breakthroughs, including the University of Sydney team's new gene editing Seek RNA. This is game changing stuff. And in this Monash lab in Melbourne, they're working on new ways of delivering mRNA. It's sort of opened up a whole range of therapies that we even five years ago wouldn't have thought was possible. While Perth company PYC is on track to create a world first treatment to cure a form of blindness. It is one of many mRNA treatments almost ready to roll out to the public. And not just in human health, this lab has been working on vaccines to be used in the event of a potential foot and mouth disease outbreak. An outbreak which would ravage our $75 billion red meat and livestock industry. Some medical experts have criticised the technology, claiming mRNA treatments don't last long enough to effectively vaccinate and that they could spread beyond target areas though that is a minority opinion. The safety and the quality is always absolutely paramount. A new mRNA production facility being built in Melbourne likely puts Australians ahead of the queue for vaccines in the event of another pandemic. It can be actually even more important than what person is definitely cheaper because this is all about the unthinkable in terms of national security. Cheaper than a set of submarines, but still a significant taxpayer contribution for the development of a technology with incredible potential. Brent O'Halloran, Sky News.